the preparation for elections are more or less completed, particularly the sensitive and non-sensitive materials all are in the district headquarters already. And now we are only trying to make packages for polling locations and polling centers that we have to reach over 10,000 polling locations for 18,485 polling centers. What we're doing at the moment in time is uh, training the polling center staff and packaging the materials uh, for these 18,000 plus polling locations. And we are also already in the villages with the water education uh, materials and uh, messages. So we are all set to go for November 19. <laughs> Ramlu Samidan, Chaiye ko chaiye, na. Dera Ramlu Samidan ko lagi, Ramlu Samidan ko na sabni, sachem neta na hi nee, bhot bhot aane sa. Pahle agle na lek da apni, aile ko le Samidan lek sa ki bhani hami asma chhau. Hal nee nee, lo bhot na hal eron kyo? Apnu mon pore galay, hal nee nee, ha? Ha, sabai janta le je ab Ramlu ko mere dar chhane ra bhot se hal nee parsa, apnu adhikar le swad bhe gan parsa. The first category is natural challenges. Our geography, our terrain is very difficult. Second is a climatic challenge because we are going to hold election during almost winter time. So there are some chances of getting snow on the high hill mountain. And um, we have to place polling center for nine voters across the Himalayan range, so democracy has to reach to that far, so it is a challenge. And another challenge is uh, uh, the voters literacy rate, um, because of uh, illiteracy and uh, our voters need more education, how to mark ballot and cast into the box. Natural and generic challenges can be planned and met, overcome, and some other challenges could be a you know, security type of challenges. That challenge is a man-made challenge. That is also being you know, addressed by the security plan that has been developed by the government, integrated security plan. So we are fully confident that we will have uh, peaceful elections without any disturbance. We are focused on the capacity building institutional development of the Election Commission of Nepal, but also supporting concretely for the elections and all the electoral processes that take place during this cycle from 2008 up to 2016. So it's a long-term project focused in, uh, in assisting the Election Commission and the, the people and government of Nepal in conducting elections. Let's say in a chronological way, from uh, how to implement a voter's registration and how to get a voter's ID, voter's list, etc. Also, the logistics and preparation for the elections, a voter and civic education, training of the polling staff. Currently, we are conducting a series of trainings for the uh, polling staff that are going to work in the elections, plus uh, other areas such as uh, logistics operations, uh, financial uh, budgeting preparation, etc. So elections is a big area and we are supporting all these different steps. Mm -hmm.